What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Hair Spells. They sent me a loose wave wig in the color number four. This wig is 20 inches. It's pre-plucked and look at those waves. It's so pretty. I love the lace on this unit as well. As you can see, it's a regular cap construction with three combs at the top and also it has one comb at the bottom. As you can see, it has a lot of parting space as well. So I like to tint the lace. I like to use my foundation that I use on my face and just tint the lace so it can match my skin tone. As you can see, it matches perfectly. And that hairline, oh my goodness, is kind of dense. <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to go in and customize it a little bit. But I'm loving this color on my skin tone. It's very pretty. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off. I like to cut the lace as close to the hairline as possible as I can. So I don't have any lace hanging and it makes it easier for me to melt the lace as well. Normally I would go in and I would customize the unit on the mannequin head but I'm just going to customize it where I'm parting the hair. In this style I'm going to do a flip over method so I want the sides to look kind of natural. I don't want this dense look on the side like it has right now even though it's pre-plucked they did a good job but I want to go in and do some extra work so I can customize it to my liking. As I part the hair further down, you'll see what I'm talking about. That wiggy look, I don't want that. That's not cute. <laughs> so dense. So I just like to go in with a slanted um, tweezer and tweeze the hair. Not too much because I don't want any bald spots. But yeah, just like that. Just a nice natural gradient. Now I'm going to go in with the bedhead spray. You guys know I love to use this spray. You can find it at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, Walmart and Ross. Now after you spray the bed head spray, you want to go ahead and blow dry the hair on cool for about five minutes or however long you want to, you know, blow dry it for. It's up to you. Also, I like to go ahead and even though it's already wavy, sometimes when you pluck the hair, the curls or the waves are not, you know, to form like it was when it first came. So I like to go in and curl it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just curling it with my flat iron. Huh? <laughs> 
on to the baby hairs I'm not gonna leave too much out I'm gonna go ahead and use my edge booster I love this edge control it doesn't leave a white residue and it's not crusty and ugh, you guys know what I'm talking about but I love this edge control it's like the best edge control I've tried and I've tried a few <laughs> I've tried a few but like I said I'm not gonna leave too many baby hairs out just a few swirls okay like two <laughs> Now just to create a few layers in the hair, not a lot. I'm not a pro at cutting, but the razor comb always comes in handy for me if I wanna, you know, create some layers in the hair. So this is what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wand curl the hair on the flip side, okay? After making sure that my edges are sleek and you know cute <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D this is a powder foundation I use this on my face sometimes but I like to go in with this on the lace especially if it doesn't match my skin tone or if it's like too white in this case it just you know it's a little bit off but check out the sleigh you guys I love it let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below and check out the description box as well please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe